So my name is Teresa Rayford. I'm running for mayor uh, in the year of 2020. The Portland primaries are May 19th of this year. I'm a Portlander, born and raised here. I have two children and two grandkids. I'm a community organizer that runs a nonprofit focused on social change and civic participation. And over the last 10 years, I've seen a decline in civic engagement. And I believe that it's the leadership that is failing our community members. We're electing leaders that are not connecting to the voters after the elections. And that's kind of disenfranchising our entire city. And so those inequities have pushed me to moving towards public service. And I believe that becoming the mayor of Portland can help us with social change and building and shifting those paradigms. Oh my goodness, Tokativity found me <laughs> years ago. They were building and uh, expanding community through the industry. And with doing that, they were looking for activists on the front line that could be supported through their initiation of community development amongst women. And so I was uh, honored to be brought into the fold at that time when I really needed support and guidance through my organizing and activism. And really that happened before I decided to run for mayor. But as I made those decisions, I was able to reconnect with the Tokativity community to kind of see if that type of engagement was something that could be supported and also something that was necessary for us. And I believe our values matched. And so... Um, connecting with the brunch and connecting with the movements, connecting with the partners, all of that is connecting my ideology and civic service and is, is a branch for me. Well, the decriminalization, first of all, when we started the aspects of legalization and making recreation um, available to people, I was on the front line pushing for that legislation, volunteering my time and energy, speaking to people in my community about the importance of them being engaged in that process so that the process could be fair and equitable. And what I saw is that um, with all of the voters and consumers and people in the industry, what we wanted was to expand social culture. <laughs> And I haven't seen that happening. We did an audit last year in the city of Portland to see where our tax dollars were going. And they're not going into the priorities that we asked for. We wanted to house houseless people. We wanted to create jobs and opportunities. A lot of people still talk about the Green New Deal and what we're going to do for climate change. But we're not looking at the millions of dollars that's coming in through our industry to kind of make that effort a reality or to even invest in the educational models that would help us get there. And so that's where my priorities are going because I know that when we stood up as community to advance the opportunities for recreational cannabis and hemp and everything else, um, that we thought that society would change because of that. We didn't see it as an opportunity to just be able to smoke. We thought that it was going to be industrious and it would lead us to reconstruction. And I'm trying to get us there with the partners that we've already had. I don't believe that the intentionality of the people that we've elected um, is enough of a conscious effort to get us there. So it's going to take us to be politically focused um, and engaged and to promote that through our industry to change. Well, I, I would say that most people that I'm connected with throughout the state of Portland, I mean the state of Oregon and the city of Portland, um, are not Trump supporters. And so in saying that, what I want to say is that our vote does matter and it does count. And when we legalized a couple, what was it, 2014, 2012, when we were passing a whole lot of legislation, um, we got comfortable. And when 2016 came around, we didn't think that we needed to be that engaged because we weren't concerned about a lot of things that were happening because a lot of people felt that they got what they wanted. Um, I think, again, those audits proved that we actually didn't get what we wanted. And when we disconcern ourselves with politics and we disengage, um, we lose traction. I, I think about the efforts of the people growing and how much time and energy it takes to prioritize putting out really safe product that's going to help us with our anxieties and different things that are happening in the world. And then I think about how that value is lost when we don't invest it in things that matter in our world, when we're not investing it into the infrastructure. But that takes us to continue being committed. Um, and that social paradigm has to be usual and customary. It can't just be every four years. So.
I hope that answers the question. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. Anything else you want to say? Um, just if you're not registered to vote, please register to vote and get to know about these different people that are running for office. Um, look to see if there's consistency in their activism and, in, and especially with the LEAF. Like, we want leaders that have always been there to support us.